The Cowboys continue to re-sign their own, adding to the list of Trent Sieg, CJ Goodwin, Jordan Lewis, and Carl Davis is now Rico Dowdle. Dowdle gets the screen pass. Dowdle to the end zone for a Dallas touchdown. Dowdle had his best season of his career in 2023, playing spell back to Tony Pollard and racking up four total touchdowns. It was his week nine performance versus the Giants that saw him have his best day of the year with 79 yards on the ground at 6.5 yards a pop and an impressive touchdown. However, those type of games were few and far between because Dowdle was never truly used as a one-two punch back. Rico saw 14 games on the season where he had seven or less carries and 11 of them, he had five or less carries. There was never a real concerted effort to get Rico in the flow of the game. With Pollard off to his home state of Tennessee, will they view Dowdle as a lead back? I would caution the Cowboys in doing so. Not because Dowdle doesn't have talent to be productive, he's shown off some of his ability this past season. But for the same reasons that Dowdle has only played in two full seasons out of four, he's a massive injury risk. And this dates all the way back to his days at South Carolina, which then followed him to Dallas in his rookie season. In 2023, he dealt with hip and ankle issues that limited his practice time throughout the season. But with all of that said, he does return to a running back room as the most accomplished player, which is saying so. Joining Dowdle is Malik Davis, Deuce Vaughn, and Snoop Connor. Surely, the Cowboys would not make the same mistake that they did with Tony Pollard by not adding a true complimentary back in this year's draft. The draft, while not top-heavy, is deep with day two and three running backs that can be a part of a duo or a stable approach. It'll be up to the Cowboys to learn from their recent past. But that's just one part of the running game that would be called into question. How was the blocking? How was it called? Is an entirely different conversation. But welcome back, Rico. We are doing a Survivor Madness Challenge. Very different from your normal March Madness brackets, which you can still do. But I want y'all to rock with A to Z this year in doing a Survivor Challenge all the way through the tournament. The winner gets a huge cash prize. Here's all you got to do. Sign up for our challenge on Splash with our link, splashsports.com slash A-T-O-Z. The entry fee, 10 bucks, man, just $10. And the entire pot goes to the winner of the Survivor Madness Challenge. This is what you do. You pick one college basketball team to win each day of the tournament. If your team wins, you advance. But you can only pick the one team. It's just like any other Survivor Challenge. The last survivor gets the money. If there's a tie, we'll split the pot. The more people that play, the more money you can win. Right now, we're up to, not right now, we're up to, but it can be up to $5,000 plus dollars or more. Fans across the country, minus a few select states, a handful of select states. 